Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to TaylorMade Beauty by Chris. Today I'm doing an almost entirely tart get ready with me and featuring their new Sweet Slice Eye and Cheek Palette. This is part of the new Sugar Rush line by Tarte. And you may have heard me mention that I thought it felt a little juvenile previously. Um, they are releasing a few new things, a couple of new palettes, and those are feeling a little more universal than some of the earlier products. Let me show you what's in this cheek and eye palette. You get seven shadows and one blush. And from Tarte's website, it says that they are rich, creamy, clay-infused formula for longer wear. And the box is made with soy ink, so please recycle. And the important bits, they're vegan, cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, ophthalmologist tested, safe for contact lenses. There are no parabens, mineral oil, phthalates, triclosan, sodium lauryl sulfate, or gluten. There are five mattes and two shimmers in this palette. And we'll take a look at them. I think that the Just Chillin' is a very nice highlight color. Picnic and Just Right and Flip Flops, I'll be using on my fair skin tone to uh, build the crease and use two scoops at the outer lid and under my lower lashes. And Sweet looks like a beautiful color to use on my, the movable part of my lid and maybe uh, juicy at the outer corner or for a little more dramatic look out of this, doing it across the entire movable part of my lid. And then the blush is called Slice Slice Baby. And uh, it looks like you probably need to have uh, fair to medium toned skin to make the best out, uh, most out of this palette. So now for the getting ready with me part. We are, I'm going to start with the Tarte Double Duty Primer. And I'm gonna take a pump of that and prime. I usually just prime areas of concern. In this case, I like primer on my forehead to deal with lines there. I like primer on my nose and around my nose area to deal with pores. And then on my chin to help foundation stay there. And then whatever I've got left, I pat around my face. And that has kind of a, a sweet scent to it. It's not very strong, I just noticed it. Not terribly strong. Uh, the only concealer I have from Tarte is Shape Tape. And honestly, it's too drying for me to use under my eyes. So today, I'm skipping my under eye um, concealer and going in with the Tarte Double Duty Shape Tape Foundation and I use this in shade Light Sand. And if you haven't seen it, it's one of those with an incredibly large doe foot. And so I'm going to tap this on starting in the center of my face, and I have a damp beauty blender. And we'll just start blending that in. I have used this foundation before. Um, I find it hydrating. I have a normal to dry skin in the winter time. So this side of my face is done, this side is not. So you can get a look at what this um, Shape Tape Foundation is doing. 
we'll go ahead and finish up this side. And I think I just like a little bit extra along my nose and on the sides to cover up that redness. All right, and that's my foundation. I do not have um, an eyeshadow primer from Tarte, but I know a lot of people do use the Shape Tape Concealer instead of a um, eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to do that today. That felt like a lot, so I think I'll transfer some over here. I have not done this before. It certainly gives good coverage. Well, if you have any discoloration on your lids or any veins that you want to cover, uh, I think the Shape Tape would be a good option for that. Now, I got some in my inner eyes, so I'm going to try to damp that out with the Beauty Blender. And I would like that concealer to set up on my eyelids before I try to go in with uh, eyeshadow. So uh, I also don't have any Tarte um, powder, loose or pressed powder. So I'm going in with my normal Lancome uh, Long Time No Shine to, um, to set the foundation. And I'll run a little across my eyelids. I think the uh, Shape Tape has dried and set up on my eyes. So let's begin the eye look. And I have an IT Cosmetics fluffy crease brush. And I am going into flip flops. Picking some up on my brush. Again, holding the brush at the back of the brush and just starting that windshield wiper motion in my crease and above my crease. My eyes are a little on the smaller side and so I actually like to go up a little bit and hit and get the bone to uh, move up the crease, give me a little wider eye looking. That's a very nice, soft crease shade. I am seeing kind of a, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, a pink undertone to this. Don't get me wrong, it's not reading pink, but it definitely, and you can see I got this eye much darker than this eye, it definitely has a pink undertone to it. And I don't know what's, oh, there we go, hanging off my eyelash. All right, that is pretty. Now I am really curious about this uh, juicy color. So I'm gonna go into the outside. This is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a Sigma E56 brush. Oh, look at that color. That is a really lovely uh, kind of cranberry red color. That is one of my favorites. So I'm just doing it on the outside portion here from my actual crease down to the movable part of my lid. And I will repeat that now on this side. I am now taking a Morphe M330 and blending that in and pulling it up into my crease area. Oh 
And you see it's just adding a little bit of depth on the outside edge of my eyes here. Now I'm going to go into Sweet with, yes, my favorite tool, my pinky. And do that from the inner corner out about two-thirds of the way of my lid to meet that, that uh, cranberry color. Oh, look at the pretty shine on that. And it's going on really nicely. Oh, I do like that. Okay. Now I am going to take an angled brush, pick up two scoops, and do under my lashes. And I come just about halfway. I have a smaller eye size, and if I go all the way, it just closes them in too much. And I think what I'll do is take some more of that two scoops with that angled brush and continue that line up on the side. And then take that Morphe M330 and just blend that in. All right, that is not really uh, blending in at all like I was expecting. So let's try to resolve that. I'm taking a slightly bigger brush and I am just ever so lightly tapping it into two scoops and adding some more, going over that cranberry color and now really trying to work at the upper level of the crease. Okay. That's rescuing it a bit. We'll try it again on this side. Go back in and blend. And now I'm gonna go back over and get a little bit more of the juicy color to go back on top. This side needs a little more blending. All right, it's a little bit darker than I was intending to go today, but you know, it's just makeup. These things happen. I have a very small brush here from, I think this was in a Sephora set, and I'm going into just chilling to go underneath the high point of my brow bone. Oh, that's a pretty highlight. That's very nice. And also brighten up the inside corner of my eyes. I will say that these colors are really bringing out the green in my eyes. My eyes sometimes are blue, sometimes are more green, and this really, really makes them go green. Now, I also did not have a Tarte product for brows, so I am using the NYX, what is, I just picked this up yesterday, uh, Precision Brow Pencil. So it's my first time using this. And I'm gonna do my brows. Okay, that's a nice color. This is the color Taupe. I need the really magnified part of the mirror for this. All right. <laughs> and I am in my studio without a spoolie. What was I thinking? Well, this is what it's gonna be for right now. So for uh, finishing up the face, I have the Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette, which is a cheek palette with a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer slash contour. 
since it's what I have, it's what I'm using today. I'm taking a Morphe F10 brush and using it as contour, kind of pinching down the brush a little bit. Just getting a nice light contour. And then letting it be a little fluffier and doing up at the hairline. Mm -hmm. A little color up there. And now I've got uh, an It Cosmetics angled brush that I'm going to go into the Slice Slice Baby and pick up this blush. Oh, what a pretty peach shade that is. Oh. Very nice. That's a really pretty kind of spring color, warm. Just a nice flush of color. Very nice. And now we will go back to the Hamptons Weekender and pick up the highlighter in Beach Getaway. That's a nice little bit of highlight. All right. And now I am going to use, this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist. And I will use that for setting everything today. The scent on this is, there's some citrus notes, but also some, I, I don't know what to call that. It's not strictly citrus. It has almost a, an astringent note to it. Um, on a scale of one to 10, from not pleasant to pleasant, I'd give it about mm, three and a half. Okay. All right, that is drying down. Now I'm going to move into lashes. I'm going to curl. And I am using the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte. I really like this mascara. I don't hear a lot about it on YouTube, but this is a really good mascara. Gives me good volume, good length, doesn't flake for me, and lasts all day. Okay, one side down, let's do the other. Mascara is done. I am now going in with Laura Mercier. This is the secret brightening powder for a finishing powder today. And the last thing I need to decide on is a Tarte lip. I have a Tarte H2O gloss that is a very nude gloss. I have a Tarte lipstick in Tangerine Target. That's a nice spring color. That might be a good one to go with this. I have something from their Tartiest line here, a gloss in Remix, and this is the one that I thought was going to be so dark, and really when it's on, it's very sheer. And lastly, another H2O gloss, this one in Getaway. Huh. I'm thinking uh, K2 
Getaway. Getaway is going to be a good one for this look. Very sticky, but the color, I'm in love with the color. But if you are only marginally a fan of glosses, you will not be a fan of this. So there we go. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, but sometimes I sneak in a bonus one and you don't want to miss those. Thanks so much and have a really fantastic day.